everybody, this is Sherry, and we're back to do another no chew recipe for all of you out there who cannot chew your food or for some other reason you just need to be on a soft food diet. So tonight we're going to do chicken parmesan. Now, I didn't have any store-bought breadcrumbs, so we're gonna make we're gonna make our own breadcrumbs. And we're gonna do that by just putting a couple of slices of sourdough bread in the food processor because I did have some sourdough bread on hand. Just put that in your food processor. I'm going to let that run for just a second. Okay, those look pretty good. Now we're just going to put those in a bowl and set them aside for later. We're going to put the food processor back together because we're going to use that for the chicken. I had some uh, chicken that I've already cooked. And it's a good idea if you're on a soft food diet like this to prepare your meats ahead of time. That way you're not always in the kitchen. So I cooked this ahead of time and I put it in the freezer and then I just pulled it out because I decided I wanted to use it for some recipes. So I'm gonna actually use this chicken for several different recipes. I'll just use part of it for the Parmesan tonight. So that's one trick that you can use so that you don't spend all your time in the kitchen cooking for each individual meal. Now we're just going to put this in the food processor and I'm not going to add any liquid to it because we're going to have liquid with the Parmesan. So we're just going to grind this up a little bit. Let's put that down in there. Okay, now we have got, <clears throat> we've got our chicken ground up. So we're going to put our chicken in a bowl. Now we've got our breadcrumbs, we've got our chicken, and we've got some other ingredients. Now, we're, first of all, we're gonna doctor up these breadcrumbs a little bit, just to make them a little bit more tasty, because you know how it is when you're on a soft food diet, you need things to be tasty. We're gonna put about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil on the breadcrumbs, and we're just gonna mix that up. And we're going to add a little bit of leaf oregano. Just a little bit to taste. A little bit of basil. And then I've got some fresh chopped parsley as well. So let's dump that in there. Just mix all that up. So we have seasoned breadcrumbs. We're going to put our chicken in the bottom of a small baking dish. If you're on a soft food diet, you're probably the only one in your household on this diet, so you may wanna make small portions. So we'll just spread the chicken on the bottom of a baking dish. And then the next thing we're gonna do is put some marinara sauce on top of that. You can use any kind of marinara you want. Um, Prego, ragu, you can even make your own. So I'll put about two or three tablespoons of marinara. Now we're going to do Parmesan cheese. Just a little, we're not gonna do a lot. Cheese can have a tendency to get chewy and hard on you, so we're just gonna do a little bit of that. And then a little bit of mozzarella. On top of that. There we go. Now you might want to put a little bit more marinara on top of the cheese so that the cheese doesn't get hard on you. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more marinara on top of that cheese. Now we're going to cover this in breadcrumbs. There we go. 
So this is our chicken parmesan. We're going to stick this in a um, oven. First, we're going to cover it with some foil. The reason I'm going to cover it with foil because I don't want that cheese getting hard. If it does, you're not going to be able to chew it. So if we cover it with foil, it's going to keep the cheese soft and it'll make it easier for you to eat. And then we'll stick this in a uh, toaster oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Our chicken parmesan is out of the oven and it looks delicious. And what I'm going to do is dish this up for you. Just kind of let you see what it looks like on the inside. It's very soft. It's going to be very easy for you to eat if you can't chew. So look at this. This doesn't look like your typical chicken parmesan, but this is going to be something that you're going to be able to chew. It's going to taste wonderful and it's going to give you a lot of variation to your diet. So I hope you've enjoyed this. We will be doing some more, so be sure and subscribe to the channel and come back and join us again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.